Hey yo, what's poppin', buddy people? I'm that one dude, Chris from YouTube, and welcome back to another three scary games. I do not intend on doing this voice the entire video, so do not get used to it, because it's already a struggle as is. <laughs> welcome back to another three scary games. Today we have something rush. This is the first of three. I believe we are playing as a detective who is in search of a madman serial killer. The police have no leads. People are just coming up missing left and right. So it's up to us now. All the options have been exhausted. We are the ones who have to find this serial killer. Not much else to say. How are you doing today? <laughs> Let me know down in the comments. I don't know. Without further ado, let's hop right into this shit. You're a detective on a case involving three murders in one night. The police are clueless about the killer. Is it a lone madman or the gangster or else? I may not even find out. Well, let's crack this case. Now I think I'll go home. I think I'm gonna go home and set. Never mind. Oh, I don't have a stamina bar. Oh, it's over. It's over. I can jump. I don't have a stamina bar. You're done. This is the detective. I have a warrant to search this forest. Whoever is here. Hey, you. <laughs> Bro, why are you just. Why are you standing there like that? Hold on. Let me get up. Where's your ass at? <laughs> Can I not talk to you? Uh, I guess not. Dear God. So it said I could hold tab. Oh, okay. Investigation. It said I could hold tab to read notes. Dear God. What the hell happened here? The axe is still stuck in him. Pause. Why didn't they take it off? It's up to me now to find out. These are a pair of boots. Where's the other one? This is a backpack. I wonder whose back it used to be on. A bottle of water. Probably not even that good shit. It seems that the tent has been overturned after the incident. I think it's time to go. Is it? Did we get? Okay. I got all the clues, I suppose. Are you going to say anything to me? Are you just going to stand there and... It... You know, I take back what you said. What I said. I, you got a nice ass. Smack. Damn. Damn. It's a nice ass on that, man. Let's move on to the next spot. Okay. Hmm. A quiet place. The movie directed by John Krasinski? <laughs> Sir, my name is Detective Green. Uh, I would like to... I would like to go past. What's that? You can't stop me even if you wanted to? That's what I thought. Good man. Nice ass. Smack. Damn. Oh my god! Somebody came over here and... And just shoved this person into the bushes. Whoa. There are body parts scattered in the bushes. I wonder why they did this. Can I turn? Can I? You know what? Actually, no. It adds to the comedic factor. I wanted to turn up the um, the text speed, but this is funny as hell. His body was mutilated here, but where is his head? I wonder why there are tire tracks here. Maybe they were in a rush. Nobody's in that much of a rush to drive through a park, a gated park. Like, there's nowhere to go here. There's a hidden tire here. And there's blood. Interesting. I think it's time to go. The way I'm doing the voice, it kind of reminds me of that scene from The Incredibles. Where uh, Mr. Incredible is on the plane and he's like, would you like a mimosa? Sir! 
Sir, I've collected enough evidence. I think I figured out who did this. It's a killer. Bet you didn't know that. Bet you had no clue. Time to leave this place. All right, buddy. What's going on here? Hey, I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell it to the judge, Pinky. All right, all right. What's going on here? Gotta investigate. Gotta leave no stone or what it seems like in this case, box unturned. Do I, am I supposed to jump? Oh, hold on, wait, 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 I gotta do some parkour. Parkour! 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 I don't care how good I am at my job, I'm never jumping on top of like unstable boxes to investigate anything, honestly. Parkour! 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 This would be a perfect opportunity for something to jump out at me, but you won't. You're too scared. The game is scared of me. I don't play three scary games. The games play three scary Chris. <laughs> ah, okay. Figured it out. I got it. All I had to do was jump. What the fuck was all that for? What did I just do all that for? Officer, I searched the whole building. There was nothing. I wasted my time. I suppose I have to go back through? Question mark? No! The music is what scared me. Not even, not even the mutilation. This is terrifying. It's for you and me. I need to speak to the witnesses immediately. Ooh! Okay, all right, all right. Jesus Christ. Whoever did this was very... What the hell? Where did they go? The police car is still here. It's weird. Found me back to, found me back to campsite? Uh, okay. Who could have done this? Why is this road blocked? Nothing will stop me. Nothing will stop me from my investigation. Nothing! Oh God. I'm sorry, what? Sorry, hello? Okay, I gotta run to the well? Why is this road blocked? Oh no, my car is turning into a creature! Why did they just use the Fierce of Fathom death sound? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it's probably a common, like, stock sound, but it, I, it's best known for Fierce of Fathom by now. Oh! Hey, that's not very fair! I was trying to do a thing! Maybe I should just be patient. Just just be patient, Chris. You're not in a hurry. The game's not on a timer. You don't have anything better to do. Okay. What the fuck? Dude. Dude. Come on, dude. Dude. Just hit him with the Seuss. Hit him with Seuss from Gravity Falls. Come on, dude. This is actually ridiculous. Because I have to die several times to figure out the pattern. 
man. I don't want to keep doing this. There was nowhere I could have gone. No! Are you fucking kidding? It's not that serious. It's really not that serious. I was only like an inch away from the well. Not that serious. Okay, where did it come from? Uh, if you stand still for too long, the car is going to get you, which is why that keeps happening, in case you weren't picking up on that. Finally! Shit! My walkie-talkie fell, and my guns, too! Are you serious? You had a gun, and we weren't using it before it fell? I guess I have to call! Operator, not oh, 911. What's your emergency? My name is Xander. This is Detective Xander speaking. I'm at a campsite. Yes, how can I help you, sir? I'm trapped in a well. I'm holding on to the wall right now. <laughs> this text speed is so fucking slow. How did you end up in the well, detective? Uh, I can't explain it. It's easy. My car came to life, started chasing me around the woods. Now I'm hiding in a well to avoid getting killed. It's, it's really not that hard. All right, I'll send a team over there right away. Wait, please bring a large backup team. Why, detective? You won't believe me, but there's a monster looking for me. What are you talking about, sir? Forget it. Oh, wait, I could just. I could left mouse click a second time to speed up the text. Forget it. Just send someone to help me. <laughs> God damn it. Roger that. Please hold. Hmm. Why did my car become a monster? God damn it. Why didn't I just shoot it earlier? Ah, but that's one of the car one of the cars I took good care of. Why didn't it become a monster from the beginning? Shit. Press E to climb out. Why would I want to do that? Where did he go? Is this really what I want to do? Officers! <laughs> uh, you're eaten by your car as you try to leave. This case is unsolved unless another detective steps up. Otherwise, this series of murders will remain a mystery. Bad ending? No! Don't give me the bad ending! Oh, n no! Come on, dude. You know I have to go for the good ending. Fuck! Okay. Where did he go? So now I gotta... How do I end up getting the good ending? I feel like it's got to do with something... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Ooh, hold on. I'm out. <gasps> oh! <laughs> It only took me one try. You made it out of the campsite, but the investigation is far from over. Despite no concrete evidence, you're still the prime suspect due to your car and are viewed with distrust. True ending. I'm not a completionist, but like, clap it up for me. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Uh, anyways, a next game. Our next game is called Cursed Baby. Now, I myself don't have any kids. I am still a kid, 22 years old, but uh, you know, I know how to take care of kids. I'm I'm great with kids, by the way. I just, where am I going with this? I Curse baby. Date, July 25th, 2024. Nope, incorrect. It's actually uh, September 21st, 2024, but better luck next time, I guess. Welcome to the team. Your first task is to repair several things around the building. 
Head to the basement to collect your tools and start on the first floor. Good luck, maintenance manager. All right, anyways. Locked. Locked. Basement. I'm just gonna get a feel for my surroundings so that I understand where I need to go if I ever do have to run from something that might horribly try to mutilate and murder me. It might be the car from the last game. Who knows? Nobody ever found it. Nobody ever was able to do anything about the car. Damn, why does it keep going up? How many stairs are- how many floors? 11, 12. Please don't tell me there's- okay, this is the end. Made it to the top. 14. Date, July 5th, 1985. Lucas used to fly the, his wooden plane all over the apartment. Now it just sits there untouched as if waiting for him to come back. I pray this ritual works so he can find peace. Evelyn, what are you out here doing? Ritual? It's never that serious, sweetie. I can't jump in this game. I was definitely gonna jump down the stairs. Oh my God! All right, all right, all right. We gotta prepare ourselves. Something is definitely gonna jump out at us. Yeah! Aha! Aha! I told you guys nothing was gonna jump out at us. Repair generator in room four. Repair pipe in room one. Clean dust in room one. Easy. Easy like Sunday morning. Okay, so I'm gonna go to room four first. Hello, maintenance. I'm here to repair your generators. I'm here to show you just how great I am at skill checks. January 12th, 1985. We finally moved into our new home today. Lucas loves his new room and I feel hopeful for the first time in a long while. It's been tough, but I believe things will get better here. Evelyn. Okay, so I, I prematurely read the note. Can I back out? I'm done reading now. I'm stuck. I'm stuck reading this note. Take two. All right, we're back. Totally not the second time I've been here. Give me that skill check. I want to hear that. <gasps> All right. Repair pipe in room one. This job is easy. I don't know who they thought they were dealing with, but I'm uh, I'm something of a maintenance man. You know what I'm saying? I'm a real life Barbie. I've done it all. Anything your little mind can think of. I've done it. Date, February 5th, 1985. John has been acting strangely since we moved in. He keeps talking about bad energy in the apartment and wants to cleanse it. Lucas has been unusually fussy since we arrived. So like, Evelyn, do you own more than one apartment? Is there any particular reason why there's notes from you in other people's apartments? I didn't know that that was the tool I was supposed to use. Repair wall in room eight, clean dirt in seven, clean dirt in seven. Oh, hello. You must be Lucas. It's, n it's nice to meet you. I've read so much about you. Seems like a nice kid. Seems nice enough. Oh. Now Lucas, what have I told you about drawing on the floor? It's a damn kid. I got a job to keep up with. Date, May 3rd, 1985. I can't take it anymore. John is obsessed with rituals believing Lucas is cursed. I feel completely powerless to protect my baby. <sighs> Evelyn, let me tell you something. You need couples counseling. If there is a lack of trust in your... Oh, it's gone. Thank you, Lucas. Thank you for cleaning up your mess. Try to teach that kid the right from wrong. Lucas, why are you causing such a ruckus, dude? Come on now. April 22nd, 1985. I found John in Lucas's room last night, chanting something over his crib. Lucas was terrified and screamed like never before. I'm so scared for us. Let me tell you something, Evelyn. Everything's gonna be a-okay. Oh, what the hell? Wrong tool, this needs a trowel? Ah, right, 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 right. I knew that because I'm, I'm something of a maintenance man. I was just showing you that you don't need a hammer to repair a wall. Repair TV in room nine, generator in 11, pipe in 12. Hey, I'm going to be, <laughs> I'm going to be laying pipe in room 12, if you know what I mean. It's 
dark in here? Why is it dark in here? Uh, what would I use to repair a TV? Screwdriver? Oh, that's not good. Lucas! What have I told you about... Oh, come here, you little rascal. I'm not done with you. I've got some choice words for you, little buddy. When I when I get my hands on you, oh, it's over. All right, what do I need to do in here? Wait, I didn't even find... Was there supposed to be a paper in that room? Because if there was, I definitely didn't see it. No. Didn't see one. I don't see one. June 28th, 1985. It happened. John's ritual went too far. And now Lucas is gone. I can still hear my baby's cries echoing in the apartment. That's unsettling. Did you at least divorce him? Are you guys still together? God, I hope not. All right. Off to do more piping. Off to lay some pipe. Dates, July 10th, 1985. Lucas barely plays with his toys anymore. Wait, but I thought he was gone. The wooden train just sits there. It breaks my heart to see him like this. That's July 10th. What was that other note? They may not be in chronological order. No worries. It has nothing to do with me. I'm just here to do my job. I'm just here to do my job and get the hell out. I don't know why this Evelyn chick owns all the apartments in the building. Pair of machine in room 16. That's at the top floor, right? Yeah, this is uh, this room here. Oh. Lucas, get off the ceiling. Lucas? Lucas, no. Lucas? Lucas, get off the ceiling. I have a blow. Lucas! Oh, okay. Lucas, buddy. It's okay. I'm here now. Your parents were kind of awful. I mean, your mom, she cared about you, but like... Lucas? Am I your dad? Am I... Am I the dad? Oh my god. Fuck that. That is probably the creepiest thing in this game so far. The, probably the creepiest thing in this three series game so far. Lucas? Find the flashlight? Am I being chased down? Oh. What the hell? August 1st, 1985, I tried to gather Lucas's toys, the train, the plane, the horse, but I couldn't collect them all in time. Maybe that's why he's still here, waiting to be set free. Okay. Collect, okay. No jump scares, please. I'm really just trying to do you a favor, Lucas. Because see, if it were me, if I had lost my toys, I'd be livid. Oh, he's coming after me. That's not good. That's actually that's bad news bears. Uh oh, spaghettios. Lucas, look, if you if you want, I could put on an episode of Bluey for you. We could watch some cartoons. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! 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 Oh, okay. She doesn't actually kill me. Uh, all right. So not really a whole lot is at stake here. Got the horse. Oh, he's coming for me. He's coming for me. I can hear his little pitter patters. Here's little feetsies pitter pattering up and down the hall. This place is a goddamn labyrinth. This apartment building, this apartment itself must have cost a fortune. Return to the altar. I think I could just let Lucas kill me or kill me but no I'm stronger than that I'm stronger than the baby stronger than the demon child but apparently I don't know my way out
Haha! -ha. Dumb baby! The big dumb dumb. Leave the building. Uh, he's not gonna let me leave, is he? It's not gonna be that easy. What the hell? What kind of shit? I just wanna leave. Oh, is this the family? August 1st, 19. Thank you for what you've done. I couldn't collect all of Lucas's toys in time, but you set things right. My baby can finally rest now, and so can I. Goodbye and thank you. How did you write that from beyond the grave? How did you give that to me from beyond the grave? Forget how, how it was written. How did that, how was that delivered? <laughs> okay. Okay. It was short, sweet, simple. Not a lot to it. Cursed baby. We freed it from its curse, I think. I'm not entirely sure what that one was all about. I mean, like, obviously, the mom thanked us from beyond the grave somehow. I'd next game now for our third and final game for this three scary games we have the whitaker's library let's continue day one all right gotta turn that sensitivity all the way up i see job books to find jimmy's house comedy echoes of history or echoes of empire history Whispers in the dark horror. Put boxes, put books in package box. Easy enough. I could do that. I went and did something like this in the admin of the adventure game. I mean, I didn't necessarily have to find the books. All right, mystery. That was the genre for one of our books we were supposed to find, right? It was mystery, comedy. Yeah. Can I carry more than one book? You gonna let me carry more than one book? If I can find it. Mystery. I don't think it's gonna let me carry more than one book. So wait, what was it? It was history, not mystery. Uh, horror and history. I gotta find the horror section and the history section. Comedy, got that one already. Horror. Where is my book? Biography. There's a history book. Ah, there's the horror book. I just had to act. Oh, I was like, was that always there? Hello? Find a picture and put it in the package box. Find a picture? What do you mean find a picture? Picture of what? Is this the picture? R. Was that? That wasn't the picture, was it? No. Uh, picture of what exactly? Oh, reading room. Duh. I'm supposed to. I okay. Dear Mike, you may have noticed the empty reading room, once filled with tables and chairs due to severe financial difficulties. We are selling off our furnace, our furnishings and other items to raise money before closing the library. Please pack all the books that customers wish to buy. Your assistance in preparing these items for sale is essential. Thank you for your understanding and help me and help during this time. Yours sincerely, James Whitaker. Oh, that's a big ass picture. I do not like that. Please just don't. Huh? What? Just don't what? I'm just doing my job. Okay. Hi! Can I help you? Library's closed. Closing. If you're gonna buy something. Day two.
Pick up the broom and sweep away all the nets in the library. Nets? We call those spider webs where I'm from. Damn! Damn! Look at that, that's a swift ass job right there! Hello? Library's closed! Not supposed to be here. Hey buddy, can I help you? The fuck? Alright. I must be tripping balls. Working in a library with all this dust and these books can't be good for my health. No matter though. I'll continue to do my job. Might even get a raise before this place closes. Is there something in the reading room? Nice. So good at my job. Whoa. Okay. Just here to do my job. What the hell? Hi! Listen, if you're gonna beckon me to come towards you, can you at least say something to me? Don't be a stranger. Does this say anything different? I noticed something today that needed that I needed to address. It seems that yesterday you put some apples in the trash can. While I understand that it might have seemed like the right thing to do at the time, I must ask that in the future you refrain from disposing of food in this way. Thank you for your understanding and attention to this matter. You're sincerely okay. Okay. Oh. There's more webs. Now what? Well, uh, seems I've done my job for the day. It's quitting time. Time for me to clock out. Time for me to bounce. Time for me to leave. All right, not time for me to leave at all. Ah, uh, endless affection, romance, the final curtain, drama, the forgotten clue. Drama, romance, drama, mystery. 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 Oh, do I have to find them in that order? Romance. Romance, drama, mystery. Romance, drama, mystery. Romance. Okay, so the second book does not appear until I put it the first one in. R A. Rad. R A D. Rad. This ghost is a rad dude. Hell yeah. Romance, drama, mystery. Are you offering me the apple? Okay. My boss is such a nice guy. Books to find. Comedy, science, romance, mystery. The life of John Whitaker. So do I not grab this one? Comedy, science, romance, mystery, biography. I gotta go to comedy first. Comedy, 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 comedy. Comedy, 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 Oh. Ma'am, are you okay? <laughs> Sir! <laughs> okay. Comedy. Did I put it in the box already? No, I did not. All right, listen here, you bitch-ass ghost. I picked up that book. That was mine, fair and square. What the fuck? I definitely shot at you. You can't do that. You, you cannot do that. Jesus. I gotta back myself into a corner. 
Because that was not okay. How do I start the encounter? Okay, they clearly don't like me standing in the corner. I gotta move around. They don't want me to camp. My run isn't very fast. The library is only so big. <sighs> it's gonna be one of those. Got it. Now, back to my book. Am I still looking for the comedy book? What am I? What is my goal? What is my mission? I still don't have my comedy book. Comedy. Oh, I already got the comedy one. I gotta. Oops. I gotta go for the science book now. Science. Science rules. Bill Nye, the science guy. Bill, 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 Bill. Bill Nye. Us. That's the car from the first game. <laughs> That's the, the demon car from the first game. It's all connecting. Romance, mystery, biography. Why do I keep doing that? Romance, mystery, biography. Eyes on the road, Dad. Okay. Yo, this is insane. Oh my god! Oh my- No, no, no! Uh, do I have to do this? I feel like it's gonna give me a bad ending if I do this. Okay. I'm, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Uh, mystery and biography, I think, is what I need to get next. It's a mystery how I still haven't quit this job. My books. Wait, I wasn't done. I gotta go find the biography book. Now read. Now! Hey, I was gonna. I planned on reading it anyways. Where do I read the book? Oh, the reading room. Duh. I'm so stupid sometimes. Dear Mike, <laughs> just uh, do not, not uh, read uh, about uh, him. Uh, 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 <coughs> Yours sincerely, James Whitaker. Well, read I must. Hey, son, go to store and get us some apples. We got voice acting? I need it to make a pie for your father. He'll be coming back from library very soon. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. It wasn't his fault. It the demons told him to. More coming soon in part two. There's a sequel in the works. I don't know what more they could do to expand upon this because it was very, it was very indie horror game. Where it was like, you know how most indie horror games have like a start and an end all in one game. It was like, there, I, I didn't really see any room for a part two, but hey, developer, I'm sure you got big plans for the series. I'll look out, I'll keep an eye out for the Whitaker's Library 2 or part two. It was a decent game.
had some pretty decent jump scares. So that was another three scary games. They were on a roll today, actually. I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. I had some pretty decent jump scares from all three of these. Uh, there were like more of like a oh kind of thing than like a, a full on jump scare. But as far as indie horror games go, these weren't bad. We played the Whitaker's Library, Something Rush, and Cursed Baby. They were all great experiences. Something Rush definitely had me uh, had me a little confused. I was scratching my head by the end of that. The, the car came to life? What is it? Why didn't I notice this before? What does the interior of the car look like for it to have some sort of... Am I asking too many questions about a horror game? Probably. If you want to see my most recent video, I'll have that link somewhere around here. I will also have the three scary games that I played in this video linked down in the description below. And if you wanted to see my last three scary games video, that'll also be linked somewhere around here as well. I'm gonna get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy and big buddy out. Make sure to check your cars. I don't just to be safe. You don't want to wake up one morning, go to put gas in your car and then be like, oh shit, I'm getting demolished.